All right, hey folks, thanks for joining me today. I'm up at my father's house. Today we're gonna probably blow apart a couple of cinder blocks. I brought two uh, pretty, pretty cool old guns. They're one's a, an old 3030 bolt action. It's uh, put out by Savage. Oh, I forget the actual model of it. Trust me, if you're a gun guy, you, you've seen it, heard of it. And the other one I brought with me is an old 3040 Craig model 1896. The gun is nearly 125 years old. It's a classic. It's an old, old gun, an old Swedish gun. So uh, we're going to have a little fun shooting them today. And uh, deer, season come, deer season officially is open, right? Yeah, i got to get my hunting license. Look at that. But anyways, let's, uh, let's start shooting these guns, see if we can blow apart a couple of a... Uh, couple of cinder blocks. All right, now our our target is that cinder block. It's probably about 35 yards away. Like this isn't like some crazy shooting video. I am not a gun guy, but I do like shooting i'm a gun enthusiast but i am not by any means a gun guy so with that being said all right all right before you guys rip on me about not having ear protection or any of you guys notice the keyboard commandos out there i'm not wearing ear protection my bad i totally forgot it but i'm not out here shooting hundreds of rounds i'm not at the gun range where there's literally thousands of rounds being shot around me I'm at my dad's house, and I'm just shooting a few rounds through a 30-30 and an old, and an old uh, 30 Craig. Let's have some fun. All right, the first rifle we're gonna take a look at here, 30-30. This one here is dressed up, kind of pretty, right? Decent leather sling, cheek rest. Not that we're doing any. Uh, Crazy long distance shooting, but it's handy. These actually hold pretty good. I forget where I got this. I think I just got it off eBay. And this here I've had it for a while. I'll just put it on this gun. Uh, last, I picked this gun up last year. I picked it up for pretty cheap. And here's the safety mechanism, how it works. Obviously, there's nothing in there. I can assure you of that. She's empty. Magazine. It's actually, this is magazine fed. Original magazine to the rifle. And I always practice shooting with gloves on because hunting season, it's cold out. It's not really cold today. It's actually probably darn near 70 and humid. So you should practice shooting the way you're going to be shooting. So if nothing else, at least have your gloves on so you know how to operate your firearm safely with the gloves that you're going to be wearing when you're shooting. Practice, right? There's probably 20 different kinds of ammo you can buy for this gun. I got the Remington Core Lock. I like these. They're old school. It's an old school rifle. It's fitting. I'll tell you what. Go buy a box of Fusions. And, uh, go get yourself a box of Fusions for the 3030. And it loads them like butter. You know, it feeds them nicely. But these here, I like these. These here feed really good. They're really well. Three round mag. I think it's only three. What is this? Will it fit a fourth? I don't think so. Yeah. Three round magazine. Slides right up in here. Just like that. She is good to go. Load one in. Safety on, safety off. We'll load safety on until we're ready to shoot. All right. Got one in the hall. Going hot.
like we hit just the top. Let's see zoom in. Oh, oh, where are we? Just the top. Let's see if we can do a little better than that. That was a good hit. All right, round two. Let's see if we finish that block off. When this block is done, we'll dig out the old 30, 40 Craig. Well, that isn't fair. Well, there. I was going to say, this is, that isn't fair because I've dusted that block on the first shot. But now it's dusted, literally. Now for the next rifle. Got the old 3040 Craig. Model 1896. This thing is sweet. If you've ever had the privilege of shooting one of these, the action, dude, 125 years old. And the action on this gun, I mean, is as smooth as butter. This doesn't have a, a removable magazine. It's got a hopper on the side right here. I'll show you how that works right now. Just one, two, three, four. And the rounds for this are not cheap. And the only ones you can get unless you're reloading are the Remington core lock, which is fine. It's an old school round, old school gun. But they don't have the rounded nose bullets, which is what this gun was actually designed for. These are supposed to be rounded like the 30-30. But a quick comparison between the two. Your 30-30 on the bottom, 30-40 Craig on top. We got quite a bit more powder. Just an all-around much more devastating bullet. But the flat nose, when it hits that cinder block down there, really is just destructive. Whereas this here, ah hell, this is gonna be destructive too. <laughs> now, before I load this up, let's here check this out. You have a uh, your safety, but then you actually have a feed interrupter that there allows the ammo to be fed up through the hopper and then if you have it down yeah you can see that down it won't let this come up I'll show you a watch check it out one two three and the four all right, see, see that? It won't feed. It makes you operate single shot. Slide them back, slide them in. Look at that. Now flip this up, and she's hot. Now you see how smooth that is, though? 125 years old. This old girl is. Safe. Fire. So, with that, let's go set up another block. Safety's off, going hot. Well, that turned half of that block into dust. See if we can do the same thing to the other half. 
We'll zoom in on that one though. Hold on. All right, we turned the first half of that block into dust. Let's see if we can do the same thing to the other half. I hit low. Right. That was a hit. Yeah, the old 3040 Craig is just devastating. Now this rifle here was actually a war rifle. And to actually carry this thing, I feel pretty confident that whatever's in front of it is not going to get back up. As far as a hunting rifle, I think you could take just about anything, anything in North America with, with this rifle. You know, for a 30 caliber, this thing packs a wallop. Got the 30-30 and bolt action, savage bolt action. Nice little rifle. The action's a little chunky. And they came out, these were a budget rifle. The barrel on these, it's got a big barrel nut on it. You see that? Because when Savage made the 30-30, they're trying to get rid of their 30 caliber barrels. They had a bunch of these after World War II. So Savage said, well, let's design a gun that we can use them with. So they came up with this. A bolt action 30-30 with a big threaded on barrel. Say it's the machine gun barrel. So it's pretty cool. Little piece of history this gun is. Sweet little rifle. This is an original, yeah, did you know? This is an original model 340. Probably from the late 50s, early 60s. So even this gun's pushing 60 years old. This is an old rifle. They don't make them like this anymore. Walnut stock. It's a little banged up and dinged up through the years. I didn't put the cover on it to cover up any dings. I did it. I did it because it holds ammo actually. <laughs> and it dresses the gun up nice too. So and this old eight model 1896. Yeah, seriously, this is just smooth as butter. Smooth as silk. It doesn't just fall out like it's messed up it's just see she breaks loose slides on out just a nice old rifle these were made right in Connecticut Springfield Armory it's a Swedish design there's a whole story behind these, why the U.S. military went with this design. Look it up. Google it. It's cool. It's got the classic military sling. Tell you what, I should do a video on how to freaking do one of these. These are, uh, these might be Swedish design too, because you know what? They're really complicated. Way more complicated than they need to be, in my opinion. I had to watch a YouTube video on how to do it. And even then, I don't know, I think I got it right, right? Does that look right to you guys? All the way down to the back. Yeah. Alright folks, that's it for today. Just a little uh, quick shooting video. Just showing off a couple of my old rifles. They're cool, they're old, uh, they're old classic rifles. And um, the one's almost 60 years old. And the other one's almost 125 years old. The 3040 Craig was actually my grandfather's. Passed down to my father. Passed down to me. And uh, it's beautiful old guns. You know, it's it's not so much about the guns. It's about the craftsmanship of uh, of some of that old, some of the the old, just gear, old gear, old machinery, old weapons, tools. You know, there's 
a craftsman would use those tools and those tools were made by another craftsman and the same goes for old firearms like that you know those were crafted I mean these are beautiful beautiful old weapons so uh, and tools and not just weapons you know, I don't want to get into the whole gun debate it's if any of you guys know me you know how I feel about that but they're old tools the tools that put meat on the table the one was actually a war rifle that was a weapon that was that was a weapon and it was an effective weapon so with that anyways y'all have a good one you hear me you see me so yeah with that y'all have a good one come on uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. throw down a subscription like the video a couple comments if you like the guns definitely comment you know, if you think guns are stupid, you can keep that comment to yourself because I don't want to hear it. Um, I don't know. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm over, I'm well over 100 subscribers now. Thank you. I want to thank everybody who tunes in and watches my videos. You know, I mean, I'd do it with or without you guys, but it's a lot more fun with you guys. You know, I'm always out here doing stuff like this, you know, by myself or whatever. But. To share it and have other people enjoy it, that's awesome. I really, really appreciate it. I, I appreciate the comments and the support that I get from some of my, uh, some of my viewing audience, albeit small but growing. Just wanted to say I appreciate it. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe, comment. And you guys have a good day. Get outside, have some fun. If you're in, if you're into hunting, sport shooting, any of that, get outside. If you're not into guns, you're just into canoeing and camping. Dude, go out and do it. Have fun. You know, you only live once. Enjoy it while you got it, because even though you're alive, eventually you're going to be old. You might not get around so good, and that just isn't living. So enjoy it while you can. You got kids? Enjoy it with them, too. Get them outside. You know, my kids are teenagers. We enjoyed the outdoors for years. And now they're high school age. They're at the age where they're, where, yeah, Dad, you're cool, but I'm going to sit here on my phone or on my playstation or xbox or any of that you know if you got kids who are in that at that age let them let them do their thing let them be them eventually they'll come back around i did because when i was a teenager i went through the whole thing i know other teenagers that i've watched grow up you know be all outdoorsy and with their mom or their dad and enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it then they get into video games or boys or girls or whatever they're into and then, this one's around 18, 19 years old, they come back. It's beautiful. So, so with that, I don't know. Hey, have a good one. I'm just rambling on now like an idiot. So, have fun. Get outside. Enjoy it. Peace out. Bye. Or 30 30 30 40 crack see the difference in holes this here's got 30 30 with the rounded tip and it kind of sliced the side of the barrel a little bit too slice the barrel or the side of the steel drum here a little bit so I think that widened the hole out too a little whereas this was a direct hit but still, 30-30, exit wound, and it looks like the 30-40 Craig actually blew apart upon hitting it. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Tell you what, it's a big exit wound, and that's probably about 35 yards. You know, a typical shot uh, deer hunting up here in, in the mountains. You're only going to be shooting probably between 30 and 50 yards. I tell you what, that'll take down a white-tailed deer any day of the week.